Hello class, this is a documentary brought to you by the one and only Zachary Evan Charles. I had a few malfunction with this project, but it's all good now. Have you ever felt that this world is just too boring? That there's not enough style in America? If so, I will argue why. Just listen to this instrumental for approximately 1 minute and 11 seconds. Imagine a world without art. Art obviously holds many forms, customs, cultures, and morals. The most renowned category of art is contemporary. While art in its various forms are often subjective, two forms that collide frequently are street art and hip hop. Some think street art or graffiti is a waste of time and a bad influence on the younger generation. These critics don't realize that not all graffiti is gang affiliated or promotes anti-establishment slurs against government and law enforcement. Artists like Shepard Ferry and the elusive Banksy do not promote any of these negative influences. Instead, they express their emotions with a wall and a spray can. A poet once said, poetry is life in print. Street artists reflect life on a wall. You know, street art, it brings a certain pop to the community. It brings revenue to several big cities, such as New York and London. Tourists come all over the world to see it. If street art is legalized, it will give more artists to showcase their talents and opportunity. Street art is arguably an extension of our First Amendment's rights. Hip-hop and street art are mutualistic because they feed off each other. The most common musicians that interact with graffiti are Most Def, MF Doom, Lord Finesse, Jay-Z, The Far Side, Tribe Called Quest, Public Enemy, Run DMC, and very many more.